Hello, everyone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what your assignment is for week four. So I'll go ahead and present now. Okay, so you'll start off here. I believe you can see my screen now. So I've actually designed the the whole platform for Schoology a little bit different because it was a lot of things and I don't want you to get the weeks all mixed up. So the way I changed it around is if you need to complete anything from semester one, like your final exam, you will see that under semester one. So if you click in here, you will see whatever you need to see from semester one from the first week of school, which was August 17th. But for this week, we'll be all using the green folder semester two. So go into semester two. I just want you to understand how the new format will look, how I changed it up so that it's not so many, so much stuff on the home page for Schoology. So um, we'll go with week three, the 18th through the 22nd. Although we are out on Monday, um, you'll still have four days to complete your assignments since you're working from home. So we're gonna um, design the dragster today for this week. When you first go in there, you'll have two warm up questions, two da daily discussion questions. As you see here, you can answer those discussion questions using the background quiz. And on this one, you can use the background article as a resource to answer the next question. So make sure you're answering those questions because that is one of your grades or you basically get a participation grade for answering the discussion questions. Please do not put IDK or I don't know. You can, the, the, quest, the answers are literally in white box. So when you log into white box, look on the background where it says background and you will see your answers on both of these. This one is, this is actually one of the quiz questions, the background quiz questions, and this is found in the article. Okay, so once you go here, you're going to click where it says here, click the word here. You will log in with Clever. Mine will look a little different, but you'll click this blue rectangle, well, the white rectangle that's outlined in blue that says log in with Clever. You'll get a screen that looks like this. You'll click the dragster. You also see the structures as well, but we're done with structures, so we're moving on to dragsters. And you will you should have already finished the research last week. So this week we're moving on to the engineering section. So you can go ahead and just press the engineering tab. Once inside of here, it's very similar to the structures. However, I'm gonna show you because there are a little bit more components for the um dragster. The good thing is you do not have to, there's no budget. So you don't have to worry about a budget. So same thing here, you click the eyeball to see what you're working with. So we start off here, you start off with a blank. So you actually start off with this um, particular material. Okay, so you start off with this particular piece of material and it does have the insert where the CO2 cartridge goes, as you can see right here that insert is on the computer as well, on the screen. Make sure you leave this on large. Reason being is because you're working with a large piece of balsa wood, okay? This is the same material that we use with the bridge. The only difference is it's a solid piece of balsa wood opposed to the little sticks. All right, so you have three profiles to create your dragster. The upper, the lower, and the top. The upper profile, if you click the wrench along with the eyeball, it will go to the profile. If you click refine solid, you can actually see what you're working with. So once again, I told you this is what you start off with. Notice here, I'll go ahead and click done for this portion so we can actually focus on what's going on. If you hover your cursor over these boxes, it tells you exactly what's being done. So this is to make lines, straight lines, or like sharp points. This is to make spleens, curves. This is to add a point, move a point, and delete a point. This is to undo, and this is to basically clear everything and throw everything in the trash. Try to refrain from pressing this unless you want to reset completely because it will delete your entire design, okay? So we're going to add a point. So it's already on add a point. Anywhere you click, that's going to be the design of your car. If you move the points, so notice I've switched to move, the move option. If I move the points around, I'm shaping my car to my desired Look, if I want to make it a curve, I want a curvy car. So let me shape my car to my desired look. It was a glitch in the system, but it got back on track. So this is the way the 
my top profile will look, okay? Excuse me, my, my, my top, my upper profile will look. If I go to low profile, same thing I have here. I have points at the bottom. I can add more points to shape my car. Notice that I've deleted my axle, where the axle belongs. So I'm gonna put a point right here at the bottom to include my axle. This axle is included, but I'll show you moving forward how we're gonna fix that, okay? So this is how the bottom of my car is shaped. I'm gonna move this point up, move right there. All right, remember always save as you go, file, save. We're going to name this um, virtual test. And we'll just save work and copy for now because we're not gonna enter the competition right now. The next profile you can make changes to is the top profile. This is actually the top of the car, okay? So you have the upper profile, the lower profile, and then the actual top profile, what the car looks like from the top, okay? So here, the same thing, we'll add points. Notice that when you add points here, whatever you do to this blue line, the same thing happens to the top portion, portion so that it becomes symmetrical because you want your car to be symmetrical, okay? So whatever you do down here, it will automatically reflect what happens up here so that the car will be the same on both sides, okay? So we're going to add a point here and we'll move these points around because I want my car to have a pointy nose. I want it to be a little thin in the middle. We'll keep that. So let's go ahead and save file, save, or work and copy. Then you will apply and click done. Now let's move on to the axles. Let's see our axles and our wheels. So the wheels, you can change the wheels. You can also change the length of the axles, but be careful with changing the length of your axles. Let me show you how to change your wheels. So click the wrench for the front wheel, the wrench for the rear wheel. They're both on nitro, which is the largest external wheel. The best thing is to stick to external but I'll show you when I show you how to put it in spec. So for the front, most race cars have small, small wheels in the front and the larger wheels go in the back. So let's pick just a small wheel, okay? And we'll apply. And we're gonna keep this wheel nitro. All right, so let's go and look at our outputs. Remember, this is where you go to make sure your dragster is in spec. Many more components than you had on the bridge. However, I'm gonna show you how to fix these things. The length, the length is determined by either of the three profiles, okay? So the length has to be, since we see that it has to be anywhere between 202 and 303, it's designed at 304.8. So we wanna make the car a little bit shorter. The way we do that is on either of the profiles, you can go and move the farthest point back. So notice it's on move. So I move that point back. Notice that even though my upper profile, the point is still right here, because I moved it back on the low profile, it changed the length of my car. So even though this one is still up here, it doesn't matter because I've changed the length of the car by changing the low profile. Does that make sense? You could change the length of the car by the top profile. So notice that if I move this back here, that'll be my new length. Whichever one has the dot that is the farthest to the left, farthest back to the left, that's the length it will take on, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just move it back a little bit. I just wanted to show you all that because the length can get a little bit tricky. Um, but this is gonna be the length of the car. So the output for length should be black now. Remember, the goal is to have everything listed here to turn black. That's when you know your vehicle is in spec. All right, so the width of the body at the front axle and the width of the body at the rear axle. That's made from the top profile. And what we want to do here is the car is too thin on the rear axle and it's too thin on the front axle. So we want to add a point right here. Then we're going to move the points to where they're stretched out enough, but they're not too far, and put one here. When you check it, so the back is correct. The um, width of the body at the front 
is still a little bit too short because it has to be within 37 millimeters and 42 millimeters and we're on 30. So we're designed at 30. So let's go ahead and change that at the front. And sometimes you may have to change your wheels. It could sometimes be your wheels. So we're getting a little bit bigger. So now instead of 30, it's 33.82. All right, now we're in the money. So this right here, these two, the bottom of axle hole above car bottom and the bottom of the axle hole above car bottom in the front and the rear. This is seen from the lower profile. Take the eyeball off of the wheel so that you can see your axle holes. Remember I told you we'll revisit this. So right here, you need to add a point. It's already a point on the rear axle. So I'm gonna move this point all the way down to the bottom, as far down as I can drag it. I'm going to click on this point, drag it all the way down as far as I can. The idea being this area right here has to be wide enough so that the axle doesn't break the wood and drop through the bottom of the car, okay? Because if it's too thin, if this little piece of material right here is too thin, it will break, okay? So we're going to check the outputs, and it should be black now, okay? So we're on our way now. This wall thickness is basically saying that, let's turn the eyeball off refined solid. It's saying that at some point on either of the three profiles, you're cutting too close to where the cartridge has to go, okay? So this insert, you cannot cut anywhere too close around this insert where the CO2 cartridge goes. Remember, that's how the um, CO2 car, the dragster is powered by the cartridge. So let's see. I believe it's going to be this profile. So right here, notice that my cut is too close. So I'm already on move, move point. So I'm going to move this away from the cartridge a little bit and let's check and see. There we have it. So you have to make sure that you're not cutting too close to the, um, the where the CO2 cartridge will go. Interference, this means that so it's the front interference. That means the wheels on the front are too close to the side of the car and they're rubbing against the side of the car. If you have interference on the back, that means they're too, the wheels are too close on the back and they're rubbing against the side of the car when the car goes, when the car moves forward. So in order to fix that, we need to, let's go back to engineering and that was the front. So let's go to the front wheels. Front wheels, no, that's the axle. So front wheels, let's see. We're going to move it a little bit. Let's change the wheel type and see if that'll get it. May need to pick another wheel type. Okay, let's see. It's still interfering. Let's try to move this up just a tad where it doesn't affect the top where we already fixed. There we go. Okay, so the idea is to make sure that if you can see right here, let me see if I can zoom in on this. Ah, no, I don't want to do that. So let's see. Right here, you don't want it to touch the actual piece, like the little piece right here on the wheel, but you want it wide enough so that it doesn't break out the axle. So remember, just on each axle, you want it to be, you want to open it up a little bit. You want to add a point right on the axle and just widen it out a little bit, okay? So let's go ahead and save this. Now remember that once you get an inspect, that's when you want to try to put it in a competition. So I will post the, um, the rubric as to how you'll receive your grade. This is a major grade, so just remember that. Um, so... We'll go ahead because now we're in spec. Let's just try to see what it's like in competition. And it's just a dry run. So virtual test, I'll put me as contender one and I'll find someone Well, I'll get my other test. And we'll race them. So my other car is clearly faster than this car.
All right, so now the race is done. But the one thing I do want to point out is that even though this car is slower, it's in spec. So this is the car that will get the grade. The other car, my the blue car, that car wouldn't get a grade because it's out of spec. So I will post, even though it's quicker, 1.2, I'll post the way that you receive your grade, the rubric, because you receive your grade this time from the time. I'm not looking at, basically, I'm not looking at the numbers. I'm only looking at the first number after the decimal. So if you have 1.38, I'm not going to round that to 1.4. It's just 1.3. So if you have a 1.3, you get a 70. If you have anything 1.2, you get an 80. Anything 1.1, you get a 90. Anything with 1.0, that's a 100. This is a major grade. I'm going to post the rubric so that you'll know how to receive your grade. The way that you get your car to moving faster is by shaping it. Remember, you want as least material as possible so that your car is not as heavy. So if you look at this, we can shave some of this material down on the top to make the car a little bit thinner and lightweight, okay? So every time you make a change, always go back and check to make sure that your car is still in spec. Remember being in spec is having everything black. So make a few changes, check to see if it's in spec, go to file, save, enter competition. Anytime you make changes, you have to re-enter the competition. After entering the competition, then you can get your time, okay? so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing because that's really all you have to do for this week. Focus on getting your answer to these two discussion question, questions and focus on getting your dragster in spec, okay? And at least, well, at most 1.3 seconds, okay? Anything more than 1.3 seconds or if it's out of spec is a zero, okay? So remember, it's a major grade. So I'll go ahead and stop sharing now. Remember, it is a major grade. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. Feel free to send me an email. I'm, I'm always answering questions, okay? Um, this video is really self-explanatory, but if you do have questions, feel free at any point. You all have a great week, and I, will, I look forward to seeing your dragsters.